Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm in the mood to make a castle. So let's get cracking. Friends, we will be working in my.sketchup. If you check the description of this video, there will be a link that'll get you in there almost immediately. If it's your first time, I recommend signing in with Google. Now that we're here, friends, I want you to click this down arrow, and we want to create with decimal millimeters. Upon launching, let's name our project. Once again, we click, choose this. We're gonna type castle. And then I also like to put my initials and hit save. This gentleman has shown us how big the world is. We can click on him and hit delete on the keyboard. Friends, remember SketchUp is a click and release program. I'm gonna show you my hands a lot as I work through this. I'm also gonna remind you after you watch a piece of the video, always click this tab so that your shortcuts go where they're supposed to. The first shortcut we're gonna use is R for rectangle. I want you to click the origin and then I want you to tap control, which is a modifier that makes it go around the middle. Then type in space 500 comma 500 and press enter. It'll automatically show up on the bottom of your screen. You just type it, press enter. It'll probably be tiny. I want you to click this little button right here and choose zoom to extents and you'll have a better view of your cool square that you just created. Friends, let's press O for orbit so we can look at it from above. I'm also gonna roll the wheel back so I've got a little different view. I'm gonna remind you again, click the tab if you're having trouble with that. And the shortcut we're gonna use now is C for circle. Click any corner and I want you to let go and type 75 and press enter. These are gonna be the parapets that we're gonna put around our castle. Click the other one, type 75 and press enter. Click the third one, 75 and press enter. Click the fourth one and once again, let go. Type 75 and press enter. If you make a mistake, you can always do undo. Now that we've got this done, E is for erase and I want you to erase these little lines just like this, pop, 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 pop. And do notice we're clicking with the tiny little circle on the end of the eraser. I have noticed that that is something that sometimes students miss. And if you click on a corner, it does both at once. If you miss, you just have to do them one at a time. Friends, when you've got it like that, press your spacebar to go to the select tool. Click the middle, press F for offset. Click on those lines and once again, let go. And when you drag it out, check it out, it makes the walls of your castle. Find the spot that you think is cool, click and set it down, hit the space bar, click the middle, and press delete. You have just made the outside of your castle. Let's hit save so we don't lose it. Press that space bar once again, click the middle. P for push pull, and let's lift that up. Notice mine says about 250. I'm actually gonna type 225 and press enter for how tall I want that to be. Now I wanna make a second layer, so I'm gonna hit push pull again. Click on this line, and I'm gonna tap control, and notice it lifts up with a line in it. Now this one, I'm gonna go up 100. If you go up a little different, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. We just want two sections of our castle wall. Friends, this next trick is amazing. Space bar, and I want you to double click on the wall. Notice it selects the middle and the outside, and we're gonna press S for scale. We don't wanna scale one corner, we wanna scale the whole thing. So if you look down here, it tells us if we tap control, it goes around the middle. That red line shows up, we can stretch it out a little bit, and boom, when we hit O for orbit, now we can check out our castle with its sweet sloped walls. How cool is that? Alrighty friends, let's make sure we click the top so we're on the right one and we're gonna use a new command called T for tape measure. Zoom in on this tiny corner, stretch it across, type 25 and press enter. Let's switch to H for pan because we wanna see this corner. Once again, T for tape measure. Zoom in and make sure you've got that very edge. Stretch across and type 25 and press enter. So we've got two guide points. Once again, we're gonna use H for hand to move back to this side, switch to R for rectangle, and I'm gonna tell you to click on that little point, and I think you should be able to type 35 comma 15 just like me, and press enter and have that sweet little rectangle. Now we're gonna hit space bar, and this is super important. Double click inside the rectangle. I need you to right click right in the middle of that and we need to choose make a component and we're gonna choose BP for battle placement. 
when we hit OK, that is now a component. If you click somewhere else, it does not select all of the pieces, but from now on when you click on that shape, it gets the inside and the outside because we made it a component. Zoom out a little bit. Let's do H for hand so we can see both corners. We are going to do M for move, and we're going to grab this corner. Tap Control so you're making a copy. Set it down on that guide point. Notice when I get to it, it notes that we're at the guide point. Once you set it down, hit divided by on your keyboard, and then hit the number six or seven or eight, whatever you think will fit, and press enter. Boom, you will instantly have all those pieces all the way across your screen. Magical. We're gonna do that process once again. Let's do H for hand, let's move over here, do T for tape measure, click on this line. Notice I missed, see how that's bad? I'm gonna hit escape, I'm gonna zoom in and make sure I've got that corner, stretch along that line, type 25, and press enter. Let's use H for pan, zoom out, move to the edge, make sure we can see this corner, do T for tape measure, click on that end point, stretch along, type 25, and press enter. So our guide points are in place. Let's grab H to bring back that pan tool. Spacebar, click on our cool little rectangle we made. Let's do M for move, and we want to tap control, so we've got a copy. We're going to just set this down, zoom in on it, and when you get to the middle, you can find these sweet rotation handles. We want to rotate it 90 degrees. O for orbit, and we can zoom out, and it goes right here. Now we can hit M for move, and we can take it right to that guide point. Friends, the steps are the same. Click this corner, tap control so it's a copy, move to the other guide point, set it down, immediately hit divided by and six and press enter and poof. You have just added those battle placements all the way around. We're gonna do the other side in a very slick way as well. Are you ready? Space bar, click the first one, hold down shift, click the second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth or seventh however many you have make sure you can zoom out so you can see that edge note we're going to connect this edge to it so let's do m for move grab that edge make sure it's got the same axis going across click set it down and you are almost finished same trick over here space bar shift click pop 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 and my friends m for move Grab that corner, make it a copy, make sure that you can see the axis line so you know it's straight, and you've just added all your battle placements just like that. Alrighty friends, so remember to click that tab if you're going back and forth between the movie. We did all of that so we can hit the space bar, double click on one of these components, zoom in on it, do P for push pull, and when we lift up one to whatever height we choose, it lifts them all up. That is the beauty of a component. We are also gonna modify this by hitting L for line, going to the midpoint and drawing one line, then a second line, making sure they are across from each other. At that point, when you do push pull and you push it all the way to the back, I'm gonna take the arrow and I'm gonna touch the very top so that way it slices it perfect. I'm just going back to that spot and look at it chiseled them all instantly. Friends, we're gonna do one more amazing thing. I need you to hit the space bar and I need you to triple click one, two, three times and you'll see that every single bit of it turned blue. We're gonna to go to materials and I want you to find a cool color that you're gonna make this all with. I am gonna choose brick cladding and siding and when we drop one of these on here, you can see it paints everything all at once, which is absolutely awesome. Hit your space bar, click out here somewhere else. Just like that, our castle's starting to look pretty darn spiffy. Friends, once again, I'm gonna remind you, click the tab, let's hit O for orbit. Let's find that red line, because that is the front of our castle. And I want you to do R for rectangle. Move down to the midpoint and start making a rectangle. We want it to go around the edges, so we're gonna tap control. So it's doing that modifier. So we're gonna make a door. When you click, we're gonna hit E for erase and get rid of the parts underneath. And then we're also gonna do a two point arc. This is a new one, we're gonna click up here and we want the second arc. And I just want you to click on the first end point, click on the second end point, and then raise it up a little bit and you'll find one spot where it has that blue on the face mark and you can click and set it down. 
hit E for erase, get rid of that middle piece, and then the back of our castle, we're going to look at this from underneath. See how this edge is right here? If we do spacebar, click the door, P for push-pull, we can now pull that back, and if you click with the little red arrow on the end point, you have just cut out your awesome castle door. I'm going to hit save, I'm going to hit spacebar, I'm going to triple click my castle, one, two, three, so it is all selected, and I'm going to switch to colors to make a cool color for my castle. I'm going to make it an odd green, just because I want to. Friends, at this point, you can click with your select tool, you can hit save, and your project is complete. Congratulations on learning some awesome skills, practicing your shortcuts, getting used to letting go of the mouse, and making awesome projects. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, maybe even hit that share button so more people can learn about SketchUp Made Simple. Of course, if you have a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.